Another way to whip up some helpful kitchen gadgets, 3D printers. They're increasingly affordable and easy to operate. So we made some stuff to help you in the kitchen. 3D printers, this isn't sci-fi anymore on The Lowdown. 3D printers are becoming more affordable. We found this Monoprice Mini for around 200 bucks. But what's their everyday practical purpose? We decided to print a few kitchen gadgets. This 3D printer came fully assembled. All I had to do was pop on the $20 roll of plastic it uses to make objects and load it with designs. And that's where the website Thingiverse comes in. Thingiverse is a free website dedicated to making, sharing, or discovering 3D models. All you do is search for whatever you want, models, knickknacks, or in this case, useful items for your kitchen. One thing you should know about printing 3D objects, depending on the size, it can take a lot of time. That's why we printed these a couple of days ago, so we can show them off today. First, we printed the Baker Cube by Ioma. This is like having nine measuring cups all in one kitchen gadget. This design took 28 hours to print, and when it was done, we had this. So the idea is each side of the Baker Cube is a different measurement for ingredients. You have a cup on this side, half a cup on this side, and so on. We wanted to test its accuracy, so we poured rice from our Baker Cube into a traditional measuring cup. Turns out it works great. Next, we printed the Bottle Citrus Juicer V2 by Tamo 66. After nine and a half hours, we had our juicer. Well, let's see, juicer, bottle, screw it on. Wow, it fits. Let's make some lemonade. Because when life gives you lemons, well, you know the rest. This thing works great. Freshly squeezed lemon juice. And finally, we printed the Bag Carrier by Makers Making Change. It took four hours to print, and it's designed to give you a comfortable grip while carrying multiple bags. This thing holds all my groceries, leaving me a free hand to open my door and wave goodbye to y'all. That's useful and affordable 3D printing on the lowdown.